Hello, our friends, and welcome to episode three of the Hucklebuck. This week, Alan here has got uh, some more stuff from whatnot. You know, that app he doesn't buy from anymore, but this is from way back, way, way back. Not anything recent, because he, he wouldn't use that app. He told us. He wouldn't lie to us, because we are his friends. And then I have some local pickups, some Instagram claims, and a CBCS haul one year in the making. Just one But year. first. Just one year in the making? Only one year? Yes, just a little over a year. Man, that's nuts how they're finally getting that stuff out, though. We'll, we'll review the dates on them, because I think one of them actually took place in January oh, okay. of 2022. But uh, the SketchUp stuff came from December 10th, 2021. Ouchie. But it's been gone for a long time, and it's made its way back to me. So I'm pretty mm -hmm. excited about that. Do you want me to go second, or do you want me to go first? Go ahead and knock it I'm out. I'm going. See these slabs. All righty. Well, I'm going to make you wait a little bit. That's okay. These, I believe, are my local pickups. Yeah. So we have Alpha Flight number one. Nearly everything I'm going to show you today is a book I already own, except for one. Um, I do this. I buy a lot of crap I already have. My wife says it's because I'm a dirty hoarder. Uh, Marvel Comics Presents 72. Oh, man. Such a great cover. Yeah. Dirty Hoarder. Dirty and hoarder. this one I did not own. It's uh, Charlton Bullseye, number seven. Guest Ooh. starring that Captain Adam. And if you've been following my pickups, I've been getting a lot of Captain Adam. Yes, you are. Now these were from an this I never I've never bought from an Instagram seller I didn't know before, but it must have popped in my feed or I must have joined some sale and he had enough we had a lot of people in common so I, I kind of figured it it was trustworthy and now I cannot remember his name but he had a big claim sale like a week ago and I got some the prices were decent enough where I was like yeah I want another this is the book that drew me drew me in. That's uh, Showcase 73. I was going to say 72. I'd have been wrong, so I'm glad I looked. Showcase mm -hmm. 73, First Creeper. I love the Creeper. This is a, a Ditko creation. Anytime I can get Ditko first appearances, I get them. Uh, this one... My records are unsure of whether or not I own this book. I'm 95% sure I do because of the Living Legion, or Legion of the Living Lightning. Yeah. Uh, this comes back in Avengers West Coast. So the Hulk battles this cult um, that has a lightning machine. Mm -hmm. And the book is Tales to Astonish 97. But uh, the the Mexican superhero on Avengers West Coast, uh, Living Lightning, is the son of one of those cult members, and he goes to try to uh, clear his dad's name. Um, and he's hiking in the mountains, and he finds this uh, lightning machine, and he goes to plug something in, and an accident occurs, and he becomes the Living Lightning, and he becomes a hero, and... I That's really good. liked him as a kid, so this is a book that I like to get when I can find it. And here's another book that I think I've shown on here before. Another Thor 338. I, I loves me some Beta Ray. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see them. Let's Three see yellow it. label slabs. Three yellow labels. I'm going to switch up the order. Up first. So you remember when I was telling you that I got into buying sketch cards because they're cheaper. Mm -hmm. But I liked that I could still get them yellow label slabbed just in case I want to give them away or sell them or something, which we yeah. know I'm never going to sell. 
if I give away, the person knows it's legit because it's a witnessed signature and sketch mm -hmm. with that yellow label and sealed. I, I just, I kind of appreciate that. It's to me, it's better than a COA. Yeah. Oh, way better than a COA. So up first, and this is funny because I bought these and then immediately afterwards found out that I would be working a booth with JRJR and I should have just waited. But here is, I believe these were $75 each sketch cards. Nice. And that's a daredevil. JRJR. Yep. Yep. Pretty basic, nothing too fancy. I mean, it's a sketch card. What do you want? But the other one I bought was actually live requested and drawn on a on a sale, and that is Mister Speedball. Oh boy, yeah, we know you love you some Speedball. Um, I know, I know which costume he's doing here. It's not my favorite. That's his Avengers Academy costume. But whatever. <laughs> kind of crazy, you know, by the by the drawing. That's yeah. And this one, now the jokes are gonna stop because I'm gonna get a little emotional here. Uh -oh. um, these were purchased through Clan McDonald, and as you may or may not know, their signing with George Perez last year was the only one he ended up getting to do of his scheduled um, signings. So this is from that. I understand it to be the last group signing George ever did. And I had gotten on it at the last minute. Uh, Steve McDonald had some books um, that he posted. And one of them was actually an infinity wars prime special uh, George Perez variant from 2018. And I got the signature right there. Oh, and it got a 9.8. Oh, that's, but that's awesome. George was my favorite artist. Um, he, I, iconic, uh, some of my favorite books. Crisis is a top five story to me. And uh, when I met him for the first time in 2012, he did a sleepwalker for me. He, George was just a beautiful human being every time I ever met him. 2019, I got a, he did a Thanos for me. Um, and then he did that speedball up above me. Mm -hmm. um, through mail order, I, I contacted his rep over email. Everything I have from him is absolutely a treasured part of my collection. This, I just, I miss him a lot. I just, yeah, I really do. He was one of the nicest people you could ever hope to meet. All of his signings, like the last 10 years he did cons or eight years, everything went to charity. He didn't pocket any of that money. Just yeah. a good good human being. Good human being. We need, we need more people like George. And I remember asking, I was like, so all of your stuff goes less as expenses to travel. Everything went to... To, uh, when I when I last met him, it was St. Jude's he was given, and he said, well, I was fortunate enough that, like, the work I did supports my lifestyle. Like, the stuff, the royalties he was getting was keeping him secure yeah. in his future. And, you know, it secured his future. And he's like, so, yeah, uh, now that I'm kind of on my retirement tour, I'm just, it's all given back. That's awesome. Yeah, oh. it's, it, it's hard to find people like that. And every time I ever met him, he always had his wife next to him, and he always introduced her, which I always thought was a very classy act. Yeah. Each person that came up to meet him would meet his wife. That's Like, awesome. he'd get your name, he'd like, this is my way, you know? Like, you don't see that a lot anymore. That's, mm -hmm. that's old school. Yeah, normally it's, uh, yeah, here, just pay. Get your signature. Mm -hmm. Go on. Incredibly kind human being. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, enough sappiness. What crap did you get from whatnot? <laughs> Why you say it like that? All right. So this whatnot seller it is uh, doing one of those mystery packs to where, you know, they had some books in them. Obviously, <clears throat> they're all books. 
and you could get there are a couple different um bag or mystery boxes that you got that were either all virgin or they had two um bags one had a three hundred dollar retail value one had a five hundred dollar retail value well i went with my brother from another mother beckerman's number 17 and i hit the 300 dollars so I forgot what books are in here, so we're just going to go through them. First up is this poo book that you think is stupid and everything, but I can still, it's still quite expensive. Okay. It's Whoa, still expensive. Yeah. I know. I know. I'm going to need some strength to get through this crap ass show. <laughs> Please deliver me from these goddamn poo books. Okay. All right. All right, this book is um, Boys, the, I Make Boys Cry, and it's signed by uh, Benny Powell and Jenna Powell. And that one. Neat. Yeah, this one is signed by Bernard Chang. This is Children of the Atom. Okay. Great dress. This one is signed by Miko. Suyan, 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 Marvel Zombies Resurrection. With the, well, I've never seen that pose before. I've never seen it either. It's brand new. <laughs> this is signed by one, two, three, four people. It's signed by George Gentry, Carl Story, Rodney Barnes, and Tyler Kirkham. And this is The Mandalorian. Star Wars The Mandalorian number one. Yeah, more number one variant. Wow, it's yeah. pretty cool, actually, and a, a whole bevy of signatures. Yes. All right. Now we have three of them signed by Rodney Barnes, George Gentry, and Carl Story. And it is Star Wars The Mandalorian number two. Okay. We've got both variants. <clears throat> George Gentry, Carl Story, Rodney Barnes. That same book, but in uh, Virgin. Okay. I'm following. I like it so far. These. I All right. Like and the last book, Kubra, is Venom, number 30, signed by Donnie Cates. Got some good signatures there. Yeah. So, other than there was one bad book, and I showed it in the beginning to get it over with. Pooh. But Where's the poo, time. Alan? Huh? Where's the poo? It's like talking to it's my right talking when I had a dog. It's right it's like, here. Where did you of, where did you do your wait, this business? Isn't where's the poo? This is tomb of poo. Yeah, no, it's poo. Trust me. P O O H. Yeah. Like poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, he's gonna hate on my poos. <laughs> a crap book <laughs> created by a crap person oh come on Marat Michaels well, go talk to Austin LeMay about Marat and then come back I don't wanna mm -mm. there you I, go I don't wanna mm -mm. all right that's what we got everybody uh don't forget check out the merch store the link is in the description um help support the channel and use that discount code viking to get 10 percent off your order but i think that is it i think we we're done right i feel done we're i'm done I, i'm ready to go are you guys all done in the comments as always let us know what you think uh be sure to tell your friends about this, uh, about the Hucklebuck, about our great show, this channel, our merch store. We're we're on mm -hmm. the quest to 250. Help yes. us out. Help us get there. Yes. Lord and... knows we're not going to do it based on content. It's just going to be pity. Pity <laughs> from fine folks like you. I'll take pity. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll see you all next week. Bye.